Oh, the amount of work I do just to get like a day in to ride. It's worth it. This is not typically how I groom my trails. <laughs> There's just too much loose powder on the top. Even after going over them with the snowshoes and a tire, you can see how much damage I did to the trails yesterday on the bike. So just trying to clean up some of these spots and get out and go for a ride later. Okay, I've taken the uh, shovel across what I think I need to, which was almost all of it. Oh well. <laughs> now I'm just gonna take the tire around. I don't even know if I need to, but maybe just to flatten it off a little bit. And then I'll give it an hour or so to hopefully harden up a little bit more and give them a test ride. Here's hoping. I just wanted to kind of show <laughs> what kind of goes on here. Maybe you can't see it too much, but obviously I shoveled a little bit, but man, the other night, the animals just went crazy out here. I mean, it's covered up a little bit now with the, uh, the wind blowing some snow on it, but yeah, there's a lot of tracks. And it looks like they got into the pond. Like I'll go down and maybe uh, grab a shot of that. Like they dug a hole into the pond. I don't know if it's the fox that are out here or what. Right now we're just on the trail called Unplanned. But as you can see, it looks like they're coming up from through here. There's a bit of a cliff here. So there might be a den down around the cliff. We named one of the fox Cecil. Cecil would actually come right up to us almost, sit beside us in our backyard. I don't know, maybe somebody can explain this. What would they be, like otters or weasels or something like that that might be doing this? Get down there and maybe get into the pond and see if they can get a fish or something. Not sure. Poop. I think I'm pretty much done with doing this for now. I'm gonna let this sit for a bit and then go grab the bike and see how it is. Hopefully I didn't uh, make it worse. <laughs> I did get a uh, top layer of uh, snow off of it though, so that's good. We'll see. All right. <laughs> After trying to give these uh, trails a go yesterday, they just were not ready. So all that work I did today, we'll see, been around them a few times not all the trails but kind of the main ones i've gone through this was pretty much all shoveled right here <laughs> Frank. and then up here is where it gets drifty real bad so I always have to shovel this pretty well always after a snowstorm or even a just wind across the pond Serenity Lane try not to hit trees branches are a lot lower already hit uh, my head on uh, 
few small branches. Again, the trail's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was yesterday. I'm gonna pop on to holiday here. And as you can imagine, this trail is the first trail to get thawed out. <laughs> it gets quite a bit of sunlight, as you can see. And underneath all this snow is ice. It's a great trail though. Ah, hell, they all are. I'm gonna turn right here, finish up all the day. I don't know if I've been on this today, other than with the snowshoes. Didn't drag a tire over everything. I'm gonna pop on to Unplanned. Unplanned yesterday was pretty much non-rideable. Again, shovel and a lot of critter action through here. It was a little, little quick climb that I couldn't get up. Right here. But it's much better. Tight trees. take a rip down the uh, one of the lower sections of the loop right here yeah that's a lot better Ooh. don't think I've uh, gone down the other end of the loop. So let's go down that. Oh, and just a heads up, I'm running about three and a half PSI in the back and three in the front. I was riding around five because it was so hard and compact about a week ago, but that's not the case now. Yeah, I haven't gone down this yet today. Uh, that's a great trail though. God, I feel like I already said that. Some of the turns are a bit slick, so I'm kind of taking it easy, like right there. <laughs> and right here. Oi! <laughs> As I said, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> the trails are much better than they were yesterday. They're not perfect, but that's okay. I mean, they're there. Now, the problem is that the next coming week, temperatures are supposed to be above freezing during the day, every day sad face so i get asked sometimes how long it takes me to groom these trails <laughs> oh man so after the last snowfall we had which really didn't seem like a lot of snow but it was really fluffy i came out on wednesday with my snowshoes and my tire and i went through duck duck and serenity lane came up a bit of the loop and then onto Rosemary's Way and then down the other side of the loop. And I was done, I always spent, because I also had to shovel that front section that drifts so bad. So that was just over an hour, probably about an hour and a half. And then Thursday night I came out and I spent two and a half hours pulling a tire, snowshoeing, snowshoeing mostly, and then I would pull the tire afterwards. So two and a half hours. I rode the trails yesterday hoping that they would be okay. And some of them were all right, but most of them just weren't. So this morning I spent another hour and a bit 
not quite an hour and a half with a shovel to try and get rid of the top layer of snow. So that's a lot of time just to come out and ride for an afternoon. And like I said, the temperatures are supposed to turn to crap next week. Ah. But another thing I really kind of want to talk about is the fact that like, why do I do this? Why do I document it, I guess? I mean, the reason why I do these trails, I groom these trails is the exercise. And it's so much fun to ride them when they're bang on, you know? But really, when I look back at my other videos, it's, it's, it just shows me a little history. Like, what was it like last year at this time? This year has been an odd year for, for the weather, but last year was too. And you kind of forget about that until I look back at the other videos and go, oh my gosh, yeah, it was not very good at times last year also. I know, like I said, this week's supposed to be not that great, but, you know, we're still in the beginning of March. I think we'll have a little bit more to ride on. And with that, keep your stick on the ice and don't pull your goalie.